Welcome to the 2013 Israel Discovery Tour. We depart JFK Airport on October 23rd. Meals and movies are served during the flight. This is a great time to relax, read your Israel Discovery Travel Book, and enjoy a good night's sleep. On October 24th, we arrive at Ben Gurion Airport in Tel Aviv, pass through customs, meet our Israeli guide, and travel to the Sea of Galilee. We will check into the Ron Beach Hotel on the shores of the Galilee for three nights, where every room has a view of the water. On October 25th, we traveled to Tel Dan in northern Israel and walked down gorgeous trails through a dense forest near the rushing Hasbani River. At King Jeroboam's pagan altar to the Golden Calf, we have a Bible teaching and a brief time of repentance. We will visit the Marom Golan Kibbutz, a cowboy ranch in the Golan Heights. We will enjoy a Dutch treat lunch in their ranch house restaurant. After lunch, we will see the horses before heading south. We will travel to Katsrin to visit a 3rd century Jewish village with a spectacular collection of ancient oil presses. This evening is the beginning of the Sabbath. We enjoy a rich meal and a Bible teaching after dinner. On October 26th, we begin the morning at Bet Shean to stroll through the ancient column streets in one of the ten major cities of the Decapolis. King Saul and his sons were hung from these city walls after they died in battle. Next, we stop where most tours fail to go, at the Spring of Herod, which comes out of a cave in the Jezreel Valley. Here we relive how God chose Gideon's army. He picked soldiers for battle based on how the men drank water at this spring. At Jezreel, we inspect the palace city of Ahab and Jezebel. Ahab looked down from Jezreel to covet Naboth's vineyard. Naboth was falsely accused and stoned, and Ahab seized the vineyard. Later, Jehu came to Jezreel in a speedy chariot to execute God's judgment. At Mount Gilboa, we will walk softly where King Saul and Jonathan died in battle. We see a breathtaking view of the Jezreel Valley from here, which is the Valley of Armageddon. On October 27th, we begin the day on the Sea of Galilee, aboard a wooden boat named Faith. We cruise the water where Yeshua or Jesus walked. We sing and worship on the sea. At Capernaum on the Sea of Galilee, we discover Yeshua's adopted hometown and the city of his miracles. We also stand on the site of the synagogue where he preached. We go Dutch treat for lunch at a restaurant on the banks of the Sea of Galilee. The restaurant's specialty is St. Peter's Fish. Our next stop is Chorazin, the city Yeshua cursed. It contains impressive basalt, basalt stone ruins. We will see the community mikveh and synagogue and sit in the seat of Moses. In Safed, we stroll through Israel's highest city with quaint stone streets, Ashkenazi and Sephardic synagogues, art galleries, and the most unique candle shop in Israel. Then it is on to Haifa on the Mediterranean Sea for a night at the Dan Panorama Hotel. On October 28th, it is a delight to wake up in Haifa to see a panorama of the Mediterranean Sea. We will view the sea and the Baha'i Gardens from high up above. At Caesarea, we will explore the Roman Aqueduct, Theater, the Harbor, the Hippodrome, and so much more in the Harbor City built by King Herod. Strolling through the Biblical landscape at Naot Kedemim, we discover many of the plants of the Bible. Then, ascending by bus to Jerusalem, we check into the Prima Kings Hotel.